Welcome everyone to Apple Insider, and I'm excited to introduce to you the Zendor Super Base 500. This is a power station that has an incredible 140,000 milliamp hour capacity, which is equivalent of 518 watt hours. We have tested a lot of power stations, and this is easily one of our favorites. It is small and compact and even has an easily totable handle right on top. If we get a little bit closer to check out the ports, of which nine outputs can be used at once, on the top right hand corner we have an LED flashlight, which is hugely beneficial should the power go out or you're taking this with you camping or in your car, but it is a bright LED light that you can easily toggle on and off. You have your basic input here, which using the included power supply can charge the thing up in about six and a half hours. You have dual 12 volt DC outputs. There is a 60 watt USB-C PD port, which acts as an input and an output, and can actually be used at the same time as the default input to charge the thing in only three and a half hours. Then we have an additional USB-C and USB-A port at 15 watts and a final USB-A port there at the end. At the bottom, we have three more outputs to consider, including two standard IC outlets and a cigarette lighter port here in the center. You can use both of those AC outlets at the same time for a combined output of 600 watts just using those two appliance outputs. To turn this on and off, there's an AC and DC button there towards the top. You can turn each of these on independently. So if you want to turn on the DC, you can do that. If you want to turn on the AC, you can do that as well. The integrated display right at the top makes it easy to see how much battery percentage is remaining, as well as how many more hours of usage based on your current watt output. Then there at the bottom of the display, you can see both AC and DC power are enabled. This is pretty much capable of charging almost anything you need, whether it's in your home or out of your home. Of course, you got your basic functionality like using the USB-C to lightning cable to power up your phone quickly and efficiently. And whenever anything is plugged in, you can easily see the output right there on the display. So in this case, my phone is regulating out to be about six to seven watts. Here, of course, you can plug in your MacBook Pro or your MacBook Air. You can do up to 60 watts there of power output without the need for an additional USB-C power brick. Of course, if you want more than that 60 watts, you can plug a USB-C power adapter into either of those AC ports. So how much can you charge here? Well, if you have a projector at 100 watts, that can run for 4.2 hours. If you have a mini fridge that's drawing 65 watts of power, that can run for six hours. It could recharge an iPhone 11 32 times. And using a set of jumper cables, you can jumpstart your car, getting you out of many sticky situations. Personally, there is one big reason why a power station like this is crucial. And that is while we live near a big city, we don't always have solid power, especially when a tornado recently had gone past our house and we were without power for a few days. Now, there is a set of Zendur solar panels that you can use, which have two USB outputs on there, but you can also plug these directly in to the Zendur Super Base 500. Using solar panels in good sunlight, you can recharge this at 100 watt in about 11 hours. It's pretty amazing that if you don't have power, you have these solar panels that can charge this thing up to run appliances or anything else that you may need. Something like this is far cheaper than a generator and I think far more practical because I can use this at home if my power goes out to run any device that I have. It can run with us anytime we get in the car and go on a trip for a weekend, again, providing us that backup power, whether we need it for our car, someone else's car, our devices that we have with us, really anything. And it's so useful between the screen, the huge array of outputs, the flashlight built in. It is just something that I really am happy to have around, whether at home or on the go. Zendur also has a ton of safety considerations built in, including UL certification for automobile cell and battery management systems, six safety protection features, including over current protection, sort circuit protection, over discharge protection, over charge protection, over voltage protection and thermal protection, and much more. If you are anything like me and you want to pick up a Zendur Superbase for yourself, you can find it at the link below in the description.